Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. Welcome on back to the Beginner's Guide for No Man's Sky. And today we are doing our brand new freighter. This is from the Earn Endurance Update. So this is the brand new freighter we're working with now. And we got all kinds of fun stuff to do here. So first things first, we can go in and manage our fleet. And you can go in, check out uh, your science vessels that are whatever kinds of ships that you have that you send out for yourself and you can teleport aboard if they're damaged you can dismiss them uh it tells the fuel requirements all good stuff then comes a very expensive option if you want to build a squadron this was 800 credits uh nanites that is and the next is 3500 so i have a and i locked one of those for you guys but whew. all right so we can now jump with our freighter as long as we have the proper drive we can jump the freighter wherever we want as long as we've got the proper drive and fuel and we got our just a view potential expeditions so the only issue right now is we don't have any of the fuel i know how to fix that but let's see 50 tons of fuel no anyways and then we've got our upgrade. So additional storage and salvage frigate modules. You find those on the damaged freighters that are in space. And I'll show you guys two different ways to get those. And once you buy one, you'll never have to buy it again. I'll show you guys how to do that. But anyways, so we've got custom appearance you have to find and redo all the various yeah yeah we'll go to emerald things here different engine flares sure i just wish you wouldn't back me all the way out every single time and then we've got of course all of our jump capable stuff so to get those salvage friggin modules like i was saying crashed freighters but as you can see it gives us a bunch of stuff to begin with and basically kind of most of what we need to begin with so to make things easier and in case you need to buy anything one of the first things i'd say put in is going to be your galactic trade room That way, if you need anything, you never know, you might be able to get it. Just some basics. Oh, no silver, huh? You're gonna need a lot of silver. Okay, so. Now, if you wanna edit, just come over here, delete that. You'll get back what was ever there. And instead of that, we're going to put the next thing that you should be putting in there, which is going to be... The refiner room. Oh, I need the hydrogen challenge. Okay, I can make that. I do plan on to make a few of them. Let's see.
So we can just put it out behind the other one. You may be asking, well, why would you build those second? Because it is time to make a lot of money. See, a big thing difference now is you can use three, but you're not going to need those, and especially for the one that I taught you guys. Let's see, now I kept some around just in case. There we go. So you saw we start with hardly any cobalt. And it'll keep working its way on up. And then, here, we're going to put storage room zero. Now, in theory, this should connect to our home base, and it does. Look at that. There's Mr. Ionized Cobalt. So now... Time for us to start making some money. There you go. But, you know, depends on the amount of time you have. Did I not turn this one on? Oh, I did. All right, and then we get that extra storage container, and you'll be able to get through that, uh, use that through various menus. So if we go here to our freighter now, you can see up top there, we've got all the storage, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger as you go out. But we've got to be able to unlock certain things. Okay, so what else did we want to build? We have a weapons terminal. Gee, you mean just like in our base? So let's put him right here. Oh. Now, is that the guy from my base? Inspired by your action craft, a multi tool of great power. Would it please you to examine it? Sure. Behold. Oh, he's trying to get... Oh, but it's a class day, but it's still a POS. Yeah. I mean, come on, look at the difference here. Thank you, but no thanks. But that's, you know, what we've got now with that one. What I'd like to do is remove these. So this might be a good spot to make and put uh, bulkhead door, and then ooh, see now, look at that silver and trillium. Now I got over two thousand trillium. There we go. To make sure I could build everything that I wanted to build. And there's more as we go. Like I said, we need to take and there are some other things that we need to do. Let's see. So we've got that. Already have our fleet command room. Which are those two over there? Right, yeah. Right there. And there. So we could put the. Science specialist room right here, I suppose. Oh, whoops. Where'd I put it? Oh, it's over here. Let 
my twin I'm working, I have not asked my bonus. Now I have two consciences to fear for. See, they put the same quest line, same exact stuff. But it's all good. Again, this is why I said, you know, I called it my useless base. All right, folks, so there you go. There is what you start out with. Now, I'm going to show you how to go get... Um, the frigate modules we need to expand and to unlock more things. It's real easy, but it costs about five million credits. Which kind of sucks, but not a lot we can do about it. But we need to do it so we can do things like put our teleporter in because then we can bounce all over the place. Oh, and every time you see these guys pop in, see now they all have these green little highlight things. Those are ships that we can buy. Right? You just get close enough. And they'll want to talk to you. Glory battle. We had you. Let's join. All right. Expect for you. So he's 2.2 million. Oh, he's combat. Oh, good. I want a good combat. Max for science is sweet. Yeah, so, yeah, they're decent. They're not bad. Yeah, we'll take them. I got the money. But as long as you're close to them, you'll continually get that. They'll keep saying, hey, come by. Hey, come by. So. All right, so there are two locations you can get the uh, salvage freighter ID signal thing. And I don't, don't remember if you have to actually purchase it first or if this guy will do this once you get your freighter because that, that's the only way you can do it. You need, to, you need to have your own freighter before you can start unlocking. Unless you want to just uh, go to the guy in the scrap container yeah he does sell scrap in the stations but dude I'm thinking of I wanted to check before I went over there and bought it that's real easy I mean this is a one two jump here so all right yep there we go Yep, always does that. Or he says I don't have anything. Yeah, okay. Ask about their past. Yep. So, I wasn't sure, but it looks like you're going to have to actually pay for the first one. And which is fine, it's, it's 5 million credits, but you guys do the little gimmick that I've got going there. With the ionized cobalt, and you'll have no problem. Yeah. Okay. So instead of getting back on our ship, we should be able to transport to the station right from over here. In our Stargate portal. Or we can, it'll drop us back onto our ship. There we go. Right there. Alright, guy we want is right, you can see him. Let's get the little sign on him. Yeah, the scrap dealer. And again, this sucks, but it's the only way to get the first one. But once you do this once, you won't have to pay again, unless they change it. But... There you go, five million. Ow! Then, get in your ship. Launch.
Make sure you get away from all the big freighters, anything big. Go into your inventory. Where did it go? There it is. Tune signal. Then you go into your boost. And it'll tell you when it picks up something. Usually only one per system. Come on. Now, before you go any further, go into your ship. Make sure your personal finer is empty. Put this in your personal refiner, right? Leave it there. You'll see why. Because I'm sorry, but five million is awfully expensive for what you get. A few things to keep in mind: uh, when you go in here, one, uh, the gravity's all screwed up. You cannot save either. So you die, you start from this point again. This is a good spot to get sodium and oxygen. So any of these little things you guys see, grab them. Okay, door control. And first thing I always like to do is turn the damn heater on. This is where we'll wind up eventually. Now, the other thing you want to keep in mind that you don't have too much in your inventory. I can't put anything in my starship already. But I'm going to get rid of this. Because we'll fill all this up with these. All right. Severe incident. Total lockdown. Yep. Of course it doesn't work. That's why we can barely move. And then we got hazard control. See if any of those are worth keeping. Unsealed door. There we go, that pro projectile. And the life support gel, ion batteries, all those we can use. Yep. So. Depending on what is in the area, you can scan. Try and hit the heating units as quickly as possible. We're going to get nanites and all kinds of good stuff in this area. You want to keep your eyes open for all these logs. And I'm just going to pound through them because uh, we will be getting, we'll be freezing as we go through here. So if you guys want to pause the video. I think that's, oh, oh nope. We can get it, these two. There we go. Oh, so far, nothing too bad. All kinds of stuff though that could come at us. We do this one. Supply log. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound good. Changed it up a little bit since the last time I've been through one of these. Okay. Looking a little bit more uh, 
Dangerous. Oh, by the way. See what's still in there? Alright. Moving on. The thing is, we got to get all these logs so we get all the stuff because you'll get a whole bunch of credits out of it. So, <coughs> we get a lot of nine eyes, obviously. Keep looking here. What do these things do? Nothing. Ooh. Anything? That's a good source of nanites. All right, so we did everything along the edge. Our issue now is that. We haven't gotten anything to, uh, the correct, let's see, I don't think we've gotten the right stuff here yet. Crew manifest. Yeah, the whole crew should be dead, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, there we go. So that's one of the ones we need to find. The other one will be a security clearance so we can get the captain's log, I think. And if you want to head back to the start, that terminal right there will do it. You just have to reactivate it. Okay. This is our next little way to go. luck. I like fighting these things. Mouse and keyboard tends to work the best for this. For me... Now we can stand by the heater and kill everything. Okay, there we go. Should make things a lot easier. Alright, heat back up. All right, shows all. Look at all the stuff we got to go through. <laughs> Holy crap! All right, well. There's our tainted metal. Oxygen, always a good thing. All right, what's this one? 
Oh, good. Easy enough. That's going to be our next one to go out on. Okay, so now... Alright, we got everything on the edges. Almost. That's what I usually like to do, catch the edges first, then come into the center. So I start looking at stuff and making decisions about what's worth keeping, what's not. Those will get turned over into. Uh oh. Uh, I see. Nip. Some of the stuff, though, it's yeah. I'm just gonna wind up tossing it here. It's not gonna be worth keeping. If you don't want to burn a bunch of stuff, you can keep going back to your heaters. Seems about everything. Right, there's our next area to go through. And yeah, while you're reading those, if something comes and attacks you, you do get screwed. So, something to always keep in mind. Always want to make sure you kill everything in the room first. But they've also got a bunch of creepy crawly bugs they can put into this too. To come and play with you. That's where we came in, so that would be this way, would be where we go. Really, no, no baddies to come jumping at my face. Sure, a lot of these logs, huh? Temperature levels stabilizing. Temperature levels stabilizing. Well, so we've got two ways to go here, huh? Okay. Protection falling. 
That's just... Ooh, I wonder what's up here. You never know. We already come through here? I don't think we did. I'm like incapacitated. Yeah, see, we haven't gotten any of those yet. So we might have to come back here because it is worth the money to do this. You do get a pretty sizable chunk from the, uh, if you sell the d stuff back to the, uh, scrap dealer. But that's the last one that we're looking for, is one of those three individuals. And there's two in this room, okay. So the question is, that was a security log, so did I get the right one that I need? No. Okay, just gotta keep looking. go that's what we were looking for security credentials oh here we go sorry about that so yeah we just have to make it to this so you can fabricate technology upgrade uh, fabricate freighter bulkheads so to expand the size of your ship you can extract nine ants or you can do the fabricate technology upgrade we're gonna do that one what I'm surprised is I didn't find any... There we go. There we go, so we got a free trade unit thing. And then you hop on this bad boy. Takes us back to the beginning. So hold on, I'm gonna fly back to the station and I'll tell you what all we got, what we, uh... Wind up getting for doing this, how many nanites and things of that nature. But hold on, folks. So, if you go to the scrap dealers, you actually get stuff. If you go to the other dude, you just get um, rank in whatever system you're in. If you go to the emissary guy. So, I always go to this dude. So, it costs us $5 million to begin with. Let's sell this crew manifest, and we're going to get... 180 tainted metal. Okay. 
sell the captain's log. That's another 270. So it'll cost you 10,000 to get another one. But if you're going to purchase old screw. Ten in metal for. And these are just random upgrades for various things. Exoskeleton ship. Let's see. Take those. And that's it. All right, where did they go? All right, folks having a little technical issues here. There they are, suspicious packet. I think that gave us nanites, maybe? It was a hyperdrive module. Now these cores, if I remember, yeah, look at that. Two of those gives you a hundred nanites. Then we gotta sell off all these things. And you can sell these off as well. Doesn't matter which guy you talk to. What's up, homegrown? Go here, go to sell. So we go here. Are the ones I'm gonna sell that one. That want to keep that for my big boy ship. Sucks is we didn't get any of the things I was hoping for. Um, the packets normally you get them when you clear a ship like that, you usually get a few. Kind of weird we didn't get any. But let's see. Okay, so we got about 2 million credits back and about almost 2,000 nanites, which isn't bad. Well, there we go. We might have to run some more of those just so we can... ...start unlocking stuff in our ship, our freighter. I'm kind of surprised it's not giving us any missions, but we might have to just go, you know, a little... Alrighty, folks. Well, that'll about do it for the Freighters episode. Hopefully that answered all you guys' questions. You know what you need to do to get more stuff going on your freighter. We'll continue to uh, work with it as we go here, as we come across more things. But... Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Didn't get any out of that. That's really... I thought I would catch some out of that. Oh, well. Anyways, folks. Tune in next time. I think we're going to go get... One of the... Um, sail ships that have the giant sails. Probably do that in the next episode. Want to make sure I show you guys how to do that. And before I did show you guys how to do that, that's why I wanted to get the freight. Because now we, can have, we have a place for all of our ships to show up. So, keep your heads down. Your warriors of doom... Up and all. See you again real damn soon.